What's up guys? My name is Meg Lancaster and I'm the Witchy Wanderer. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'll be giving you a tour of my bedroom, which is a very kind of bohemian, artsy, minimalist, little bit of farmhouse kind of vibe. But first and foremost, I'd like to welcome you to my very first YouTube video. Um, I'm very new to this. I'm not used to recording myself and putting myself on the internet on a regular basis. I think it takes a lot of emotional stability and individuality to be able to put yourself out there like that and expose yourself to criticism and you know anything else that the online world has in store for us. As I am new to this I'd like to start by just giving you guys a little introduction into kind of who I am and what I'm all about. I'm 20 years old, I live in New England and I'm a sophomore in college. I've studied international politics and gender and women's studies with kind of a mix of some other things in there. I love philosophy, activism, travel, plants, dogs, writing, poetry, music. I guess some people would describe me as a gay hippie and I would accept that title proudly. I identify as pansexual. If I'm being honest, I'm not sure if graduating college is right for me, at least not right now. I feel like the things that I want to and need to get out of life, I'm going to learn in another country. In having an experience I never expected I would be having with people I've never met before. I'm not going to learn it in a classroom. I haven't traveled much, but it's my number one passion in life for sure. I haven't had the opportunity to travel much even outside of this continent. But the goal is to work and save up until I can afford to buy and renovate an RV or a school bus or a van um, and fully furnish it into a tiny home and travel the world full time and write, write from the road, do freelance writing. That's pretty much the dream for me. <laughs> I actually had a trip planned to Greece in May, but uh, thanks COVID. <laughs> Although I can't say that I hate quarantine entirely. I mean, without it, I probably wouldn't have had the free time and the boredom that motivated me to do a lot of the things I've done during quarantine. That includes art, that includes working on freelance writing some more, that also includes creating a YouTube channel, which is something that I'm doing now apparently. <laughs> it took me a while to decide what I wanted to do my first video on. I do have a lot of ideas for things that I can include content-wise on this channel, but I think a room tour is a great way to kind of kick off a YouTube channel because A, you kind of get a feel for the person's vibe, how they carry themselves, how they talk to you, but B, you also kind of get a sense of their personal space. And I think a person's environment can honestly say a lot about them. I think you can learn a lot from being in the place where someone goes every day, the place that they call home. It'll show you what they value, what's important to them by the things that they keep around them. It's very important to me that I have a personal space that I can truly call my own and I want it to fully feel that way also. I want it to be a place where I feel comfortable to express myself and I want my room to be a reflection of me. So without further ado, let's get started. As you guys can see my room has a very kind of boho chic artsy minimal farmhouse vibe to it i tried really hard to combine all of those elements into a combination that made sense for me and to kind of give you an idea of the room that i was working with before i made it over i loved these high ceilings with the exposed rafters i wanted to accentuate those by putting some string lights up there um, three of the walls are these beautiful white beadboard walls very simple very clean um, the other wall is just this dark brown stained beadboard wall which is absolutely gorgeous um, the side with the door on it um, the floors are these really wide farmhouse boards i wanted to let those shine as much as possible so i tried really hard to leave as much empty space in the f in the room as possible so kind of the first thing you see when you enter my room is this cute little bookshelf. I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do with it at first, but I just figured that putting some shelves in there was the best way to kind of give this corner some life by adding some plants, a little water dispenser, since I don't have a bathroom on this 
floor, some books, a little basket, pretty much whatever I need. Um, I really think it adds so much to this corner. It just kind of spruces it up and adds a lot of life. Next is this chair right here. This is a peacock dining chair just made out of wood and wicker. I just loved how simple it was. It was my grandmother's. It was just in her barn. Um, and I asked her if I could use it and she said yes. Next to it is this little barrel that I'm using as a side table. I cleaned it up. It's also from my grandmother's barn. And here's one of my plants right here. This is a little crispy air wave. Um, he's one of my favorites, very cute. Moving over to the left, you can see that I have this little piece of artwork that I did recently. It's just a simple drawing that I did based on an experience I had with my friends about um, probably a year ago by now. Um, it's just resting on top of my record player, which I actually found in the garage along with these Beatles and Billy Joel vinyl albums, which is great. So I just put these um, speakers on here. I found this table on Amazon and put it together myself. I think it's absolutely perfect for this and it suits the farmhouse vibe really well. Next is my little art studio over here. I actually built this table with my dad. Um, we just took a four by four piece of wood and cut it and painted it. And then I bought some legs on Amazon and just made that into a table. Um, this is my wall above my art studio. First, I just have a quote, which is just really simple. I change it up every so often, um, but it's really inspirational. Next is my art that I keep in these little binders up on these golden file folders on the wall, uh, graphite and watercolor and ink mostly. Um, and lastly is my little vision board over there. Um, on this side of the table, I just have some simple um, office supplies, a printer, this cute seashell, seashell lamp, which looks perfect in the corner of this table and just adds some light. Uh, these gold file folders also. And this right here is my Wiccan altar. So if you're not familiar with Wicca or witchcraft at all, it is a very intention-based and nature-based practice. And this is the altar that I use for my spiritual work. This is just a farmhouse stool that I happen to have on hand, which matches perfectly. And this is all of my art stuff over here. So believe it or not, it all kind of fits in this bin right here and this portfolio behind it. So right now I'm opening up the art bin um, and it is collapsible. It has different tiers to it. So it's perfect for someone very OCD like me who likes to keep all of my supplies organized and easily accessible. And I can just kind of take it with me anywhere. It's great. I highly recommend it. And behind it is um, just this portfolio with some drawing pads and my plot board, which I use for planning the novel that I'm writing. I can also do videos on art and writing if that's something you're interested in. Moving over here, we have this little three-tier cart over here. It's very kind of industrial farmhouse yet again. It just kind of holds whatever like doodads I needed to hold. Oh, there I am <laughs> saying hi. Um, this mirror over here is really simple. I had it in my dorm. I put these Buddhist prayer flags on it. Um, these are, or were my grandmother's. Um, I think they're really simple. I've been getting super into Buddhism lately. I think they look really cute. These little plant lights that I have around it, the little leafy lights going around it. Um, I need to re recharge the batteries in those though. The next little section over here is probably my favorite place in the whole room. It's this little window seat over here. I just love the way that it turned out interior design wise. Um, this little love seat I found on eBay for a really good price. It's just white with this awesome um, black text on it that is from like newspapers. I think most of it is in French. Um, I have the simple lantern and these white curtains and this macrame thing in the window just to add a little bohemian touch. Uh, next to it, I have this little hat rack, which is so cute. Um, I think it really pops against the white. Um, I have this little nightstand here, which is actually one in a pair that I made over. I've had these nightstands my whole life. They used to look completely different. Um, this little basket under there. Um, next to it, I have my guitar and my ukulele in a little basket. Um, it's really convenient to kind of leave right there. It's just a perfect space for it. And then I have some more succulents in these really cute macrame plant hangers that I found on Amazon. Amazon is the best. I've been spending so much money on Amazon. It's very bad. <laughs> Moving over to the next side of my room. Um, this whole side didn't really used to be here. This little closet area, I built it with my dad. I just put in these 
shelves and this little hanging storage area in the middle. Um, it really serves my purposes because I kind of outgrew the dresser that I had. I just had way too many clothes and they were just all over the place. So I made an effort to make these nice and organized and I have honestly more storage than I need, but um, plenty of room down below to put off season clothes, pajamas, any of that sort of thing. I can also do more lookbook videos if you guys are interested in kind of fashion ideas or that sort of thing. If that is something you'd like to see, please let me know. Over here is my bed. I just have a little star um, made out of branches that I made. Um, the bed frame actually used to be my parents, but I painted it white and I think it looks great in here. I It is a little big for the space, honestly. It kind of gives a tiny bit of a bottleneck at the end, but it's worth it. On this other nightstand over here, which is the matching one to the other one, I just have another seashell lamp, a little candle, a basket under there for my tech. Um, on this door hanging, I just have my bohemian um, uh, hemp backpack, my purse, and yeah, that's pretty much the room. Um, I'll just kind of give another look around so you guys can get the feel for the space as a whole. That's all that I have for you guys today, and I hope you have a lovely, lovely day. Bye.